Good evening, and uh, welcome to Sports Line Radio. My name is Dave, the uh, Beat Man Scandaliato, and uh, I am broadcasting live from beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, the sports and gaming capital of the United States of America. And you are listening to this program right here on 910 AM WUBR. CBS Sports Radio in uh, Baton Rouge. And uh, we got a, a good show planned for you today. We're going to talk about the two uh, NBA games, uh, one being played today, one being played tomorrow, the Eastern Conference Finals and the Western Conference Finals. We're going to do that up until about uh, quarter past the hour. And then uh, we are going to switch our attention the horse race and the ponies, baby. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna try to get this, but I, I I think I think we can get this. But we should have got the Derby cap. I mean, let's just call it like it is. I mean, we got screwed. I mean, granted, it's horse racing. I understand all that. The horses come out of the gate and you get smashed and jammed and this and that that the other thing. That's just how it goes, brother. That's how it goes. It is what it is, man. I mean, it was a tough luck, but man, look, Danny only got ten horses in the race. And instead of having to worry about this and that, we're gonna we're gonna break real easy, and because uh, we're gonna break right next to the four, uh, this classic empire is the five, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, because uh, like I said, I do want to touch a little bit uh, on the uh, on these two basketball series. I uh, I uh, got a pick tonight in that uh, Boston Celtics Cleveland Cavaliers a game number two. I also got a little theory on it. I got a theory. I got a theory. You know the old conspiracy theory. I got a theory uh, behind my selection. I'm going to give you a reason behind it. Like, I got to give you a reason. Like, I got to give you a reason. Like, these guys, they want, oh, I want some an analysis with the pick. With analysis, what? What, do you want me to tell you? This guy shoots his, that. You don't know all that. That means nothing. It means nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a real reason why, uh, I like the pick that I'm going to go with. So uh, we do have a lot of stuff that we got to cover today. And uh, before we get the party started, I just want to quickly remind everybody that the following information is to be used as news material only and is not intended to violate any state Federal or local laws. All right, uh, tonight, game two of the Cleveland Cavaliers Boston Celtics series. Game one, Cleveland just crushed them. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had Boston in game one. I knew I should have went with Cleveland, but I did the I did the dumbest thing ever. It was just dumb. The dumb pick. It was a dumb pick, and. Uh, uh, man, I tell you, it was just a dumb thing. Don't let the score fool you, man. 117-103, it was never that close. The only time it was that close was at the end of the game. Well, nobody cared. <laughs> nobody cared. Except the guys like me who bet the halftime. Because I did come in and get another slab of it at halftime. I got my money back. Because I figured they were down 20-something. And uh, you figured they had a little fight in them. I mean, come on. You figured Boston had a little fight in them to at least get it under 20. You know, gee whiz, I mean, my God. So, and they did that. They did that. They outscored Cleveland by nine in the second half. So we broke even. But the bottom line is I did have Boston in game one, but uh, not this time. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me, Cap. You're not going to fool me twice. You're not going to fool the meat man twice, Cap. You're not, you're not going to fool me twice. It, it, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Cleveland wants to win this game here because when they win this game tonight on a Friday night, they're going to go home for games three and four, and uh, they're not going to have to go anywhere else until it's time to fly down to San Francisco to play the Golden State Warriors. I mean, there ain't going to be no game five and six and seven if Cleveland wins tonight. Now, LeBron's thinking, now, if we win tonight, there's no way these dudes is coming on our floor it beat us. I mean, it couldn't even beat the Washington Wizards one time in Washington. What makes anybody think they're going to come into this joint, the Quinton Loan Center, brother, and uh, and win? And it ain't going to happen, Cap. 
It ain't gonna happen. I mean, it just ain't gonna happen. I mean, man, fantasy land, baby. Maybe in fantasy land, but we don't live in fantasy land. We live in a real world. We live in a real world, and uh, I, think, I think Cleveland big tonight. Big. I mean, real big. I mean, big, 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 big. I, I mean, look. look the, the, the bottom line is, at Bookmaker right now, the series price. Okay, now you want to get down on the series price for the uh, for the NBA. You're looking at, you're looking at, in order to bet, the Cleveland Cavaliers, you got to bet twenty eight dollars to win a dollar. They're twenty eight to one favorite. Twenty eight to one. The odds makers are giving Boston a one in twenty eight chance of winning the series. Let's be brutally honest with you. It's going to be a sweep. It's going to be a sweep. Who does Boston have? Isaiah Thomas is kid. I mean, yeah, he's pretty good. He's all right. I ain't got nothing against that dude. I mean, I ain't got nothing against him. But come on, Cap. Come on, man. I mean, look. <laughs> Cleveland's loaded. I mean, look. When you can, I can't even name like I can name like two or three people in the Pelicans. Okay, I mean, I, you know, obviously all three names are the, the three biggest names guys that they got. But I mean, you got some teams you can't even name anybody. Oh, I mean, I know Boogie Cousins and Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday all, but I mean, you got teams that you know you I can't name a player. I mean, you know, I like I know the Dallas Mavericks have Dirk Nowitzki on and stuff like that on on Cleveland. I can name every player. Everyone, I mean, uh, you know, you got LeBron, you got the Tristan Thompson guy, you got J.R. Smith, you got the, uh, the other guy, you know, I can't think of his name, but he was the number one pick in the draft. I mean, everybody knows what I'm talking about, Kyrie Irving. And this Kyle Culver guy, man, he just sits out there on the three-point line, boom, 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 boom. I mean, I, you can name all the guys on the team. I mean, Boston, they got one guy. And then Cleveland's got a lot of size, and I, I, I just don't think he's going to be effective. I, 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 the spread's five. I can't believe I'm laying five points on the road, but, I mean, look, these teams, Golden State and Cleveland, they've been crushing, crushing the road team. I mean, crushing them. I mean, look what, look what Golden State did in game four uh, on the road uh, against Utah. I mean, the Warriors were a nine-point road favorite game four. And they demolished Utah. I mean, they just absolutely demolished the Jazz. So, I mean, look, you can't be scared to lay points right now. You can't be scared. You can't be scared. You, 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 you got to believe your eyes. I, I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, Cleveland is just better than the Boston Celtics. Cleveland is not going to have to make a return trip to Boston Garden to play the Boston Celtics. I mean, it just ain't going to happen. They win this game tonight. This series is over because, I mean, if you're a five-point favorite in Boston, you're going to be a 12, 13-point favorite at home. And I just don't see the Cleveland Cavaliers losing a game at home if they win this game tonight, which I think they will, then having to get back on a plane to go play game five in Boston. I mean, I just don't see that. I don't see it. Cleveland wants that rest, man. They want that rest. Everybody was joking. Well, Boston might win the first half against Cleveland, believe me. LeBron James looked fresh. He just kept taking the ball and laying it in the basket. There's nobody on Boston, nobody on the Celtics that can stop this dude from doing whatever he wants. I won't take. Put me down for the pick. Tonight, I'm laying a points cap. Meat man's laying the lumber. I'm going to lay the five, five and a half. I don't care what it is. Give me the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight in game number two minus the points. Against the uh, Boston Celtics, and that game's going to go up at uh, 7 30. 7 30 uh, p.m. Central Time. I think that's what time it's going to go up, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yep, uh, 8 30 Eastern, 7 30 Central, 5 30 out here uh, in Las Vegas. The line open, four and a half. And uh, two nineteen and a half, and uh, currently it's uh, uh, let's see, uh, an open four and a half and two nineteen and a half at Bookmaker, which is where the uh, line originates. Now Bookmaker sitting at five and two eighteen and a half, so a little half a point movement on the uh, side, and a full point movement. Uh, uh, on the total, uh, let's see, 
Let's see uh, the other game. The other game is the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. It's amazing. It's hard to believe that San Antonio is up 25 points in game number one. 23 points when Kawhi Leonard went out. They got outscored by 25 points in that game and then 36 in the next game. They've been outscored by 61 points since Kawhi Leonard went out. I mean, so, uh, you see, here's the thing. I can't make a pick on this game until I find out whether Kawhi Leonard's playing or not. You know what I'm saying? That makes a lot of sense, right? Let's see. Let's check the injury report. Let's check the injury report because it's hard to make it questionable. Questionable. That's why I can't make a pick. I give you the point spread, I give you this, I give you that, but I can't make a pick. That's why you got to write this number down. You can call me toll-free to Comp Winners Hotline, 1-888-375-2710. 1-888-375-2710. You're going to call and talk directly with me, the meat man, Dave Scandaliato. Yep, I'll, uh, you know, I just can't give out the play right now. I mean, how are you going to give out the play? How are you going to give out the play on a game when you don't know whether Kawhi Leonard's playing or not? I mean, the whole pick is going to be based on whether he plays or not. So, I mean, I can't give out a pick. This game goes at uh, on Saturday at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern time, 8 o'clock Central time, 6 o'clock out here in Las Vegas. Bookmaker open the game 6 and 212, they're currently sitting on five and a half and 212. I mean, Golden State, they don't even have a series price up on the uh, Golden State Warriors, San Antonio Spurs. Because, I mean, without Kawhi Leonard, I don't want to say San Antonio has no shot, but I mean, based on what you saw the Spurs do in the last six quarters against. Uh, Golden State Warriors. I mean, what would make anybody think that a team who's been outscored by 60 some odd points in the last six quarters that their best player went down? What makes anybody think that they're going to come out there and turn it around and win and win literally four out of the next five? Because if they only win four out of the next six, that means Golden State won two. They will have wrapped up the series already. So I mean, literally, San Antonio. Has to be Golden State four out of the next five games. Uh, man, I tell you, I, I, uh, you got to give me a call. Give me a call on Saturday. We'll find out whether Kawhi Leonard's playing or not, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Then we'll decide what we're going to do. one 375 2710 to Comp Winners Hotline. You're going to talk directly with me, the beat man, Dave Scandaliato. one 888 375 All right, uh, let's take a break. Let's uh, take a uh, commercial break. We're going to take two commercial breaks today. When we come out of the break, uh, my man Don back in the studio. Don's getting ready to take a week off. So we're going to work, Don. We're going to get as much work out of Don as we can humanly possibly get. We're going to try to make Don as miserable as humanly possible the last 40 minutes before he gets a whole week off. So we're going to make him play the horns when we come out of the break, and we're going to talk the Preakness, the second leg of the Triple Crown, and we're going to talk about whether always dreaming, whether he can uh, do part two, or uh, maybe one of the other nine horses uh, might go ahead and take it. So don't touch that dial, Cap. we still got 40 minutes of sports lines still to come. And you're listening to this program right here on 910 AM. WUBR CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this edition of uh, Sportsline Radio. Uh, we're going to do part two. If you want to do it, check it out on YouTube. Uh, uh, YouTube free Preakness pick from the Meat Man. Uh, this is the sports part of uh, today's program. We're going to shut the tape down, and we're going to start it back up for the horse racing. Thanks for uh, joining us. Don't forget, every uh, Friday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time, 
9, 10 a.m. WUBR, CBS Sports Radio, Baton Rouge. And, of course, you can listen live on PelicanSportsTV.com. See you in 167 and a half hours, Cap. Thanks for tuning in.